Today is Tuesday, February 15, 2022. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Chicago. Dress for cold. The temperature today should reach up to 39 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Bring plenty of water out today, because humidity is at 59%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Some clouds. We've got strong wind at about 17 miles per hour. Heavy rainfall, shifting river ice likely this week. Warmer temperatures through the middle of this week will be followed by widespread, locally heavy rainfall. Significant river rises and near flood conditions will be possible in some areas. And conditions will also become favorable for breakup ice jams. Areas with the highest chance of flooding include the following. Rivers and their tributaries, Fox, DuPage, Des Plaines, Kankakee. Iroquois, and Vermilion. Remaining snow cover contains up to one inch of water equivalent. With the highest snow water content over portions of the Vermilion, Kankakee, and Iroquois river basins. Soil frost depths. Range from 8 to 15 inches across the area, which could reduce the amount of infiltration from rainfall and snow melt. Current conditions are generally increasing the threat of flooding if heavy rainfall was to occur. Warming temperatures to near 50 degrees by Wednesday are likely to melt most of the remaining snowpack. Wednesday night into Thursday, widespread rainfall is expected across the area, with accumulations of 1.0 to 1.5 inches possible, based upon current soil conditions and rainfall occurring at approximately the same time as snowmelt, significant river rises are likely, and isolated flooding is possible. Flooding may include poor drainage areas and low-lying areas along area rivers. In addition to river rises and possible flooding due to heavy rainfall, significant ice cover on area rivers could break up due to warmer temperatures, snow melt, and rainfall. Break up ice jams will be possible, especially along the Fox, Iroquois, and Kankakee rivers. Ice jams can develop very quickly and lead to rapid water level fluctuations with little or no notice. Persons with interests along area rivers should monitor the latest forecasts and statements from the National Weather Service. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. In other Illinois news, Texas is suing Meta over Facebook facial recognition. Meta paid $650 million in an Illinois settlement last year illustration by Alex Castro, the Verge Texas Attorney General. Ken Paxton has sued Meta over its use of facial recognition. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but... MDL judge advances most Paraquat claims against Syngenta, Chevron Reuters. Summary law firms related documents The company and law firm names shown above are generated automatically based on the text of the article. In other Illinois news, Repair Cafe hopes to make treasure out of old trash. Pepsi during Super Bowl 56 a halftime show extravaganza, featuring the likes of Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Kendrick Lamb, A.R., Mary J. In other Illinois news, every Republican has to answer about January 6, Kinzinger says. Representative Adam Kinzinger Rill speaks before a July 27, 2021, House Select Committee hearing on the January 6 attack on Capitol. Hill. Next up, Meta illegally collected facial recognition data on Texans, lawsuit alleges. 
The Texas Attorney General is suing Facebook parent Meta, saying the company has unlawfully collected biometric data on Texans for commercial purposes, without their informed consent. In our next story, seven-year-old girl slips under safety bar, falls from gondola ride at Florida State Fair. A young girl fell from the gondola ride at the Florida State Fair Saturday night. For our next story, yes, you saw right, former, Saturday Night Live star spotted around Springfield. Speculation about actor and comedian Chris Kattan has been popular in Springfield area social media groups in recent we. K.S. Kattan has been spotted around Springfield, sparking the discussion. That's it for today. Have a good one. We're always working to improve our service. Please subscribe to show support. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather TM API, which is made available here under the Open Database License ODBL.